Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at the Newbie Drone Acro B65 BLV4. That's a mouthful. And for those of you that have followed the channel uh, or are familiar with the channel, Whoops are one of my favorites and Newbie Drone is one of the few companies that's been around almost as long as I have. Um, they've got uh, brushed whoops and they've got ready to fly kits that all come in some little, uh, almost like a goggle box. But as far as this BLV4, it's kind of the same sort of newbie drone sort of whoop that we've seen in the past. It's very, very familiar. And there's a few things to take note that are very specific to newbie drone. And a couple of those things, they've kind of stuck to their guns on. And I'm hopeful one day they'll move on. Let's start with the motors. They're new flow motors. That's kind of the newbie drone name, 0802, 19,000 kV. So you get good flight time, but you're not gonna get a lot of top end performance. The only one flight controller is 1 and 2S capable, but be sure to just stick with uh, 1S when it comes to flying with these particular motors. It also has uh, thermal controls for its VTX, which is a new addition, uh, and it has what's called Smart Max. Uh, so the maximum output of the VTX is 400 milliwatts, but depending upon the heat, it may draw that down in order to keep it nice and cool and not burn up, which is a good thing, and I'm glad to see that. Uh, it also comes flashed with the ESC firmware uh, from Blue Jay, and it is a 12 amp all-in-one, four-in-one ESC. Note the different connector size. The newbie drone connectors are smaller. They probably use those to save a tiny, tiny bit of weight. But that does mean if you want to swap out the motors, you've either got to go back to newbie drone motors or you're going to have to splice in those connectors or possibly just solder them to the ESC pads, which this board does have. Of course, the BLV4 does have an Express LRS flight controller on it and you can see it up here with the new T antenna, which is... Uh, kind of just tucked in there behind the camera bracket. The camera is the same camera I believe they've been using. I noticed on their product page they don't even mention of the camera, so I presume it's the same one. We've got 31 millimeter Z props, or maybe they're pronounced Azzy. I'm not certain. The canopy, which we've seen a long time. It's one of the few three position mount canopies that actually hold the camera nice and still. It's called the Goober. And if you can see down in there, that connector is also smaller than we typically see on cameras. So again, if you're gonna swap out the camera, you're gonna have to do some splicing. The battery lead is the rolled pin PH20 connector and I'd really like to see something else like BT20 or even GNB27 because this is pretty much the lowest end of the PH20 connectors. They did add foam pads to the base so if you have wood floors like I do or you do whoop de doops up on the wall, you shouldn't be scuffing up your walls or your appliances or furniture. That's a nice little touch. If you're not familiar with this frame, they put these two little nubbins in the front and the back to make sure that our battery, when it's lined up in here, doesn't bonk into the USB port. It weighs just a tiny, tiny bit over 24 grams. And of course, we've got a flight on the Nitro Nectar Gold batteries with the PH20 connection on it. And that brings it up to 32 and a quarter grams, which means it's a pretty heavy 65 millimeter whoop. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, you can see I've got my typical OSD elements and my wife's birthday balloons hanging up there. Yeah, I did get tangled up in those. The I think it's the purple color of the uh, string that attaches one of those balloons. I, I tore one of those up a little bit when I got a little too close and sucked that right into the prop. Uh, so as I mentioned, this is going to be something that those that are looking for to get in with a U.S.-based company that actually has dedicated support, someone who... We all know, well, maybe not all of us, but he is someone who's been around. I don't want to call him out by name because that's not fair because then you might be reaching out via his personal Facebook. But uh, the person that handles newbie drone support in large part, a uh, dedicated support specialist uh, that's been around as long as I've been around. So that uh, can be a comforting or reassuring sort of uh, feeling. Uh, by the way, the gate, the cube gate down there and the standing lights, those are from Weebleed FPV. Uh, those are some of the gates that I kind of just leave around the house and I USB charge them up every once in a while and uh, fly them. The cube does plug into the wall, so it has an extension cord. But anyways, um, so you're going to have to change out the PH20 connector eventually because it will wear down. It might be 40 flights. It might be 200 flights. I've seen it vary on a number of different quads. Unfortunately, with the rolled pin, what you'll find is your flight times will get pretty short and your performance will go down the drain as well. Um, that's kind of just a known issue. That won't be a surprise to newbie drone either. 
um, and they're positioning their quads, I believe, as more starter friendly uh, for those that are wanting to get involved uh, in whoops. Um, they're, Movie Drone's kind of uh, one of those companies that is near and dear to my heart. They've been doing micros for a very long time, and micros are my favorite. Uh, but if you're looking to fly around and fly around fast, we're a little low on the KV and high on the weight. If you're looking to do a lot of high-performance sort of acrobatic maneuvers, stuff that you might find over on the Infinity Loops uh, YouTube channel, again, a little high on the weight, a little low on the KV, but you can go ahead and compensate for the low KV with new motors. Uh, I don't see on their order page for this particular quad where you have the option of just selecting higher KV. Uh, so you have to buy it with uh, the 19,000 kV, although that is a step up. Their previous iteration had 18,000 kV. Uh, so if you're flying fast, if you're wanting to do racing, uh, you're going to get probably around two minutes of flight before you're going to have to hightail at home, as I am now doing. Uh, if you do kind of that mixed bag of flight, you'll get about two and a half minutes. Um, and if you sl fly slower, you may start pushing the three minute marker. And for those of you that might be familiar with the Newbie Drone products, they put together a nice little chart that breaks down the difference between the BLV3 and the BLV4. Uh, and just to kind of highlight a few of those things, we've got smart temperature control on the BLV4 that does have a maximum or smart output up to 400 milliwatts. Um, so we've got Express LRS, so you get much greater range versus previous iterations and other protocol and again that kv has gone up from 18,000 to 19,000. you may have noticed on that flight my osd coming and going a little bit i have heard that that's fixed with new firmware but i don't know if that firmware is out as of the time of this recording um, that is kind of something that i know that several other people who have the blv4 also experienced i thought mine kind of came and go relatively frequently frequently but i noticed that it would vary from battery to battery, so I don't know what that's all about. Uh, also, if you get extreme noise in your video, which is something that uh, caught me out, check the antenna. My antenna had popped loose, and I thought, oh, no, I've damaged the VTX already. Well, the UFL for the Express LRS antenna had popped loose, and then I got a lot of noise in my video. So if you're having noise issues with your quads, as we should always do, give them a good once-over, give them a good look, make sure everything's firmly seated, if it's got a connector or if it's soldered, make sure that solder joint's nice and shiny and uh, holding tight. Um, there isn't a whole lot to say about this that's new because Newbie Drone and their designs, as far as the frame, have really stayed the same for quite a while. As I mentioned with the three mounts, I'm not a fan of three mounts, but this is one of the few canopies along with their other canopy, the B-Brain. They have somehow found a way with just three mounting points of keeping your cameras nice and steady. Now, I didn't fly this outside, and I think this particular one is not going to be appropriate to fly outside unless it's extremely calm. And for those that know my area, that is very rare. Especially right now, I've got uh, single-digit temperatures over the last 10 days or so, and either relatively normal winds, maybe 8 to 15 miles an hour, to high winds above 25 miles an hour. So outside time has been very difficult to come by. Plus, being it's so cold, you get these plastics cold, one crash, you end up breaking something, and that's that's just not reasonable. But I would caution you that if you're getting a whoop, a 65 millimeter whoop, that is you know less than, say, 22,000 kV, flying them outside in any sort of brief is going to be at the very least challenging and maybe not so much fun unless you just like that extreme challenge of uh, being pushed around and fighting with uh, not a lot of uh, KV on your motors uh, of flying through the air. I think the main points in this is that uh, it is from a US based company, Newbie Drone, and they do have dedicated support. So if you do have issues, you should be able to get in contact with support and be fairly rest assured, but as always, I always want to know what your real world experiences are like. I might have thoughts in my head that need to be clarified by you. So if you have a newbie drone product and you have reached out to support, please let me know. Good too, not just the bad. We want to know the good too. Leave those down in the comment section so that other people who are looking at the BLV4, the Acro B65 BLV4, or any of the other Newbie Drone products can get a feel for Newbie Drone support and their business practices from the real world out there from all of you. I would sure appreciate that. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise about the Newbie Drone Acro B65 BLV4, please let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.